And then again, I would like to thank those who are living. I would first like to thank all the former members of Better Band, especially the man, Daddy Haji, for showing me and leading me to a path that I didn't know where I would have been without him. Now tell me, because um, I keep watching this prison as a musician here, like Good Brother, what about him really sets him apart? Because I don't understand it. I know the music goes because I'm, I'm an outsider looking at music, surfaces and stuff all the time. But um, tell me about him though. What really, what really uh, distinguishes him really? Uh, what sets him out there? Well, first of all, um, he, starts, he sees something in persons that they don't see at that time, although they know they got it. And he embraces it and he pulls it out of you. And I'd like to applaud him for that because he is one of the persons are integral in the way I am today. And I'd like to applaud him. And uh, thank you, Daddy Haji. I would like to thank Bookie as well, um, being my, 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 my partner in crime, my left and right. I would like to thank the man, Landfill Cardi Hughes. And then again, my left and right. And those guys, uh, along with the other former members of Better Band, showed me a lot. Um, going into DMB again, um, I could only tell you what I've been through. I can't tell you what I didn't know. Yeah. And these guys have been an integral part of me being here today, and I'd like to applaud them as well. And thank you guys. Whatever is to come, you had something in it. I'm not going to leave you. If I'm going to get a million dollars, you're going to get something. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? The right is good though, you know, when, when persons out there can recognize and appreciate, you know, and the simple phrases of those persons. Uh, who would have been instrumental in the development and right here that's very good of you you're a man with a big heart and that is mighty mighty good of you that you can really you know um, stand here tonight you know on national radio before your fans and the and you know and uh, the the persons who have, who have impacted your life in a positive way and you're a big man with a big heart well i mean you have to appreciate what you go to um in life there are trials there is happiness and there are things that you have to go through to realize. So we call it realization, reality. I mean, yeah. And if you don't give those persons the flowers or the praises before, they yeah, they're, they're not stop. Yeah, <laughs> can't wait. But of course, as I said before, folks, that Dwight TPA, I'm no stranger to us here in England. And I'll say in front of his face, I'm you know, a very instrumental, uh, an integral member of the, the Death Metal Band, you know, a record of the DMB, the, 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 the Women's Band. 
Another great guy did too. And over the years, the Dwight has been dealing with himself in the fans here like Willem. I mean, all the fans love Dwight C from the, all the folks who supported the band back in those days. And uh, to this very day, you know, I saw him perform, he went right down and sat the ground with uh, Frick and his greeted band. And uh, the folks uh, from the DMB, and you know, those folks, man, the fans that turned up in their record numbers in support of the brother. And it must be something good he would have done over the years. Uh, he's known for his, uh, his antics, you know, his, uh, his, uh, his comedian style, you know, his showman business too, you know, all this stuff, man. And it is really paid off with you, Dwight uh, You have maintained your base. Yeah, um, I like it. Again, I'm so appreciated from all the fans that have stood by me through the downs and ups. And um, I want to appeal to the other singers. There is a recipe. I can't tell you how to learn it. I just know that I embraced it and I embraced it with them. And until you learn that, you will not truly be a lead vocal. Ah, okay, you heard that. There's a recipe out there that he can't tell you how to embrace it, how to how to hold it, but you know, until you learn that, you won't truly be a lead vocal. And, and we should point that phrase, we should sing it, brother. We should put it in captions, really, because uh, that's Dwight's line right there. I got you, brother. I got you, Michelle. But of course, uh, Dwight is a great writer as well. We all know that. Um, written many songs of the years. You know, big tracks like You Rescue Me, I Played Some the Seat, I was like, wow, this guy can sing. And, uh, you know, some folks who were listening overseas also said, how do you know that this guy can really sing? I said, yes, man. And uh, he writes, you know, with some soul as well, with passion, because a lot of songs you sing over the years are sang over the years, brother. Um, those songs, you know, um, they're here, and they're living on in perpetuity forever. They're everlasting, they're going all the time, man. And they still sound fresh. So that in the but as a writer, you're a boss as well. Well, again, uh, thank God for the, for, for the talent that I have. Um, the biggest problem I have with writing, especially the school songs, is who that one for nobody? But the over the years, I've heard that too, already, but the people ask me, but who you writing for today? I said, God, I said, don't know, somebody, something going on there. But they always ask the question, who you wrote the song for? Again, in life, you go through a lot of stages. The persons around me go through stages as well. I don't have to. Initial, initially go through the stuff. I, the people around me go through stuff and I learn from them and I can appeal to it and write about it. It does not have to be about me or the person that I am with at that time. Ah, wow! Here you go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, yo, hey, yo. And of course, you know, most writers um, deal that way. You know, most writers, uh, they write based on um, you know, real life situations, what they see happening around them, the environment, you know, wherever they are. Um, they can see things and, you know, they can put pen to paper, you know, and they're uh, really great songs. And Dwighty, you have that, you did give, give it to you by uh, the maker of the God, but a great God, man. And uh, you're using that gift wisely. You're using that gift to the best of your ability, man, and so far so good. And this evening, as you stand here on the threshold, you know, of this new chapter, brother, I know that you're going to do great stuff because um, you're an artist with really, a class, you know, a unique artist, but you're one that is really imaginative, and your mind is good, you know, and you're not scared. You're, well, as you see it, well, in South Valley, you're in the pump. <laughs> I am a pump, you know. <laughs> That's a crap, you know that you don't know the show, so for real, man, we're going to spend great stuff from you. So the album is about to come up here now, show sure, in a while here, and let's talk about the many tracks of the album. There are seven tracks and an intro. Our uh, seven tracks and an intro, and let's talk about the work on the album, and who would have done the work on the album. It's entitled Evolution, it's a seven track album, you told me that before, and who was the engineer recording the on the album? Well, first of, all, first of all, I would like to give the de define the meaning of Evolution. The reason why I named the album The Evolution is, is from where, it's, it's really based on where it came from, from being in a band, being basically taught stuff, being led, and I think about this time is about for me to walk on my own feet, pull my own larynx, speak my own mind, and say what I want to say. And that's the evolution of Dwight T. Um, persons that have worked on this album, uh, I realized that in, even in writing, you would have be repetitious if you keep writing on your own. And a lot of singers, I'm not a specialist, but that's what I get, get from it. That if you write on your own all the time, you start to sound a certain way, and you don't know how you sound. We call that monotonous, you know? Like, yeah, you, you, you become one, one track, really. You know, one track along the way. I didn't want to call that big word, but since you say <laughs> Yeah, so um, what I did was involve a couple other writers, including my nephew, Jay Paris, Jamal Paris, and St. Thomas, 
Um, I'd like to congratulate him as well on his writing, because his writing ability is also almost up to his uncle's, but <laughs> come on, it's real. So, I'm on this, so the album, uh, well, Jamal Burns assisted in writing, you know, the, the uh, musical production was done by who? Musical production was done by my calling Goddard, Daddy Prick. He has, I think, because he do so much for me and I use art. Come in. But Daddy Prick did, I think, four, it's four, it's four. He produced four tracks on the CD. I also used my Pam Pam Dome in St. Croix, and he produced Nostalgia. Who's Pam Pam? Pam Pam is a guy that played with UMV soldiers, and um, he is a great keyboardist. He's fun to work with, even by phone, even by Skype. He don't look that handsome, but he, he good, he good, he good. Pam Pam, you know how we do when we do. Um, and I am going to stick with him as well as sticking with Colin Goodall. Then I used my engineer, recording engineer, Tiger Mills. He used to play bass for Positive Image. And then, so I linked all three of them and I call them the tribe. They're my tribe and I'm the chief. All right, so um, so you have a true Caribbean product, you know, from St. Croix back to Wakula, uh, back to Miami, Florida, the is what it is. So you have a real Caribbean product here this evening about to be created, all right? I, you are so right, and I am right. You're right, too. All right, so eight tracks to, um, this evening here, and uh, mastering was done over here. I know we mixed stuff, we mastered stuff to, um, uh, did, did that Miami do the mastering too? That Miami ATL, uh, Atlanta, Atlanta, I got an ATL dog. Okay, so the guy did that for you, the mastering there as well. Well, mixing was done by Stone Rock Records. Um, Max Don Harrigan, Maxi Don Harrigan, who did an awesome job. Let me tell you something about it. These guys, Tiger Mills and and and, and Max Harrigan, they, they've been working with me. They, they, they basically bent over backwards to make sure that I was already with them. Never. never. They made me feel like home. Made me feel like I was back up in Evolution Studios, or they just made me feel like home, back in St. Thomas, back in you know my home now in Scrub too. Um, so they made me feel good, and I, I would like to thank you guys and thank you, thank you guys a lot, and we continue to do some work, and we will come and we will come hard. Yes, I so um, the man glad to be here. I'm um, indicating that he's a number of hard indeed, but again, um, it's a good chapter for him. And the album is an upbeat battle, you know, evolution is really, is really evolving, you know, really. And uh, hence, uh, the reason why I said he's playing a good chapter is very important for him in development. And again, I'm glad to be here. Is someone over the years that Angola has been, has it given himself to fans here in Angola? Um, he's a very important part of Angola's cultural landscape as well. And the scenery about it here, exactly how he's coming for a carnival 2014, which is a special year, right? He's 40 is a carnival, and you will be on the road here for a good many of those years. 16 or 11 years. Like I told somebody today, they asked me, What are you doing, Jube Man, you me? Well, that one hard because I ain't want the asphalt for Jube Man in 16 years now. Yeah. They don't want me starting them. Ah, <laughs> you know what you started? Is that a signal you're sending somebody out here? That's a message you're sending all day. All right, brother, I got you. I got you. So, you know what? You know, we're going to drop tracks right now. Dwight T, of course. We know that uh, the family is here. You know, the friends in the house as well. They're all here this evening in support of Dwight T. You know, and I'm really happy to see that some of your. Um, your friends from back in those days, they came out tonight, they're here, brother, in support of you. So you must have done something right over those 16 years. Like I said, um, it was not the plan to, to gain the respect. Um, I, thought, I just think the main formula for gaining respect is giving respect. And I applaud them for respecting me because I respect them. I love them because they love me. I will stay with them because they stay with me. And anybody mess with my fans today, yeah. I know pumpkin. No, sir. Never was, never will be. That's the man, Dwight T. P. in there for you for sure. So, the man, legend, let's send this to the now. Obviously, the eight track album, the man, Dwight T. P. here, about to come on this evening. Jam, you ain't used to come for a jam. And of course, some jam was recorded many years ago. Um, jam, you would be around with, um, you know, a better band those days too. And you would have seen the man, Dwight T. P. here perform. Actually, earlier on the radio about uh, your fond memories of him. And you painted some for us as well, you know, um, and minus the PS system, 
but you're here now, he's right here now, and um, the way your view, you know, of what you what you think about the brother really, I'm giving really your fun memories again of this brother back in those days. I got something else. The most craziest performer in our band today, 20 p. Wow! The most craziest uh, performer in our band today is Bright TK, ready to go. Are we ready, Jam? Are we ready to turn up this dance, my son? Are we ready, Jam? We are ready! Alright, so right about now, we now present to you the band Bright TPA 2014, brand new. Let's go track number one, let's bring it to us, let's go. Oh, we're here to run away over four, we're going to do 